subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi! Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will discuss about SAP Certified Technology Associate OS, or DB, migration for SAP NetWeaver 7.52. This exam can be a great option, to kickstart your career. The certifications help to show your dedication, towards your aim, and also makes you a preferable candidate for the job. What is SAP Certified Technology Associate? This certification exam validates a candidate's capability as a well-trained technologist and prepare the candidate to help clients or employers manage and execute key business processes. Armed with an understanding of SAP NetWeaver 7.4 and OS or DB migration for SAP systems, the candidate can implement this knowledge in projects as a technology consultant. Exam Overview 1. Exam name is SAP Certified Technology Associate OS or DB migration for SAP NetWeaver 7.52. 2. Exam code is C, DA, DM, 70, 19. 3. Number of questions are 40. 4. Length of time is 90 minutes. 5. Exam cost is 549 US dollars. 6. Exam language is English. Exam policies. We shall now be looking onto details of the registration and policies for the exam process to register for the exam. To register for the exam, follow the below mentioned steps. 1. Go to the website, to registers, or login. 2. Select the certification you want to buy, and add that to basket. 3. Purchase the exam by making payment, and then you will also get the access, to the learning hub. 4. When you will go to the learning hub, it will show a dashboard, with your purchased exam, and status. You can schedule your exam here. Rules for Registration in Asia-Pacific Region The rules of registering for SAP certification, are considerably different in the countries located in Asia-Pacific Region, that includes India. This difference is important, and has to be discussed in more details, because it directly influences the overall cost, of becoming a certified SAP specialist. 1. To appear for the associate level certification, without attending any SAP course, you need a minimum of one year of SAP implementation experience, or two years of support experience, with a minimum of six months experience in the module, and version of SAP in which you are going to get certified. 2. The last year of your work experience, should be with your present employer. 3. Your present employer should be either a customer, or a partner of SAP. Recertification Policy SAP certifications are valid for three years. To renew your certifications, you have to pass Delta, or stay current assessments, when a newer version of a solution is released. Retake Policy Candidates can take the exam up to three times, in one release of the exam. If the candidate does not pass the exam after three attempts, then he, or she have to re-register, for the next release of the exam. If a candidate does not pass the next release, after three attempts then, they will not be able to retake the exam, until the next edition is released, that is within one year. Now, let's discuss about course outline. Domain 1. SAP Migration Tools, which comprises of more than 12% weightage in exam. This recognize the tools, that are required to perform ASAP, O, S, or DB migration, and describe their functions. Domain 2. Advanced Migration Techniques, which comprises of more than 12% weightage in exam. This identify the time critical steps, in an R3, LOAD, or J, LOAD based system copy. Describe the methods, or strategies to save time, during system copy. Domain 3. Control, and data file structure for system copies, which comprises of more than 12% weightage in exam. This explain the purpose, contents, and structure of the R3, L, O, A, D, and J, L, O, A, D control and data files. Domain 4. Special System Copy Procedures, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. This describe the scope of Special System Copy Procedures. Describe the NZDT, or MDS, System Copy Method, and distinguish between the classic migration, to SAP, HANA, and the database migration option, for SUM. Domain 5. The system migration process, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. This describe the migration procedure, and explain the steps required to migrate, an ABAP, and Java-based system. Domain 6. Export, 
and import of system copies, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. This evaluate the database specific, and unspecific options, for performing SAP homogeneous, or heterogeneous system copies. Domain 7. Technical background, and troubleshooting, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. This describe how data classes, are used to map tables, to database storage units, and how data classes are handled, by R3, LDCTL, and R3, LOAD explain the purpose of table DB, DIFF, and describe how the R3, LOAD, or J, LOAD data access works. Distinguish between the R3, SCCHK, behavior if the target database type, is the same, or different than the source database type. Domain 8. SAP System Migration, which comprises of less than 8% weightage in exam. This clarify what is a homogeneous, or heterogeneous system copy, which tools are available, what is the going live OS, or DB migration check service, and from where to get information, about the migration procedure. Now, let's discuss about preparation guide. 1. Reference books. Books are the best valued resource, and the first resource that comes to our mind when we start preparing for the exam. You can choose any book according to your level of understanding, or can go for the book, that is prescribed by the Microsoft. You can use libraries, and ebooks, and can even find various books online. The exam reference, helps candidates maximize their performance on the exam, and sharpen their job role skills. 2. Online training, and instructor-led courses. The instructor-led courses, and online training is one of the best ways, to develop the conceptual understanding of the concepts. You can ace the exam easily, when you have proper understanding of the concepts, and can handle the tricky portions easily as well. 3. SAP Community You can read blogs provided on the internet. You can also ask your doubts, on the cloud communities without any hesitation. Cloud communities, are the group of people who have cleared the exam of similar interest. You can even form the groups, with the people who have the same interest, and wants to crack the same exam to pull resources, and other advantages. 4. Field Trip to Official Site The official site provides information, on various technicalities of the exam. Also, the official site of SAP, also offers various resources as practice papers, books online, and instructor-led courses for study. You can pick any of these resources. Also, the official site is the most reliable source, of the information related to the exam. 5. Evaluate with Practice Test You have to keep practicing, a lot in order to ace the exam. The more you practice the more you can identify the loopholes, in your practice. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.